Roasting carrots brings out their sweet side. I love to team them with dukkha, a blend of nuts, seeds, and spices. It's a concoction with Egyptian roots. Tender carrots, crunchy dukkha, and a little plain Greek yogurt on the side. Start by preheating the oven to 400 degrees. And then on a rimmed baking sheet, you're gonna roast the carrots. And I like to use small or medium carrots, and I like to choose them in different colors. They're all tossed with a little olive oil, and I do that right on the rim baking sheet. A little kosher salt, and then into that preheated 400 degree oven for about a half an hour. I want them to be tender, and I want them to be beautifully caramelized. About halfway through uh, the roasting, give the pan a shake. And here they are. So the dukkha. We need some toasted sesame seeds. The recipe calls for two thirds of a cup of sesame seeds, so I usually do them a third of a cup at a time, just in a little skillet over medium high heat, giving it a good shake. And it's really something that you can't really multitask with. You have to keep your eye on them because you have to give them a good shake oh, every 20 seconds or so, until they're nice, lightly browned. Then cool them. Next, we need to grind the spices. And I use a little inexpensive uh, coffee grinder. And I have one for coffee beans and one that I save for spices. So in goes some coriander seed and some cumin seed. And I want to grind those up. Beautiful. I have some beautiful cashews here that are roasted and also some pistachios that are also roasted. They can be salted or unsalted. You just at the end have to adjust the salt to be right. So what we're gonna do is pulse it because we want some left fairly large and others ground up so it's a nice texture. Sesame seeds, my spices. The smell is irresistible. I'm gonna give it a little taste. Mmm, it's so good. Want a little bit of salt. Remembering that the carrots have already been salted. Carrots in place. I've left a little space for some yogurt. And then the dukkha. And the leftover dukkha, you can keep stored in the refrigerator for a couple of weeks, well sealed. And it is delicious on just about anything from chicken breast to cottage cheese. Anything, it's delicious.